Hi guys, so for today I just thought I would come on here and be 100% honest with you guys and explain to you guys as much of what I can of my situation. So basically I am moving and it's not necessarily a choice, I basically have to move. Um, there's just been a lot of things going on ever since I moved in you guys know I've been in this place for a little bit over a year and Pretty much three weeks into me moving in like things began to become shady and a lot of things started happening in the complex that I'm in and I just kind of like put up with it as much as I could Bottom line at the end of the day. It is not safe. It is not healthy for me to be living where I'm living and unfortunately it's nothing that I did all of these issues and problems and chaos that is going on in the building has been going on prior to me moving there and without me getting into too much detail because I have not officially like moved out yet because it does take time to move um, and just to kind of like give you guys I guess the best explanation of or like generalization the person that lived in my unit prior to me living there actually had to call the police so things in this building are just not how they are supposed to be it's not safe it's not a great environment to live in and obviously it is affecting my YouTube and I just want to apologize to you guys because from the bottom of my heart like I love each and every one of you tremendously and I know that you guys haven't been happy with the content that I've been putting up and I haven't been happy with only putting up like sponsored videos most of the time but to be completely honest with you guys like I can't really film DIYs at the moment and that's because I don't want to do anything to my current apartment. I don't want to put any more holes in the wall because I will be moving soon. And I don't want to, not that I don't want to, but it's like I no longer have an outdoor space that is safe and that I can go and not be harassed to film my DIYs. And that's just the point that it's gotten to at my apartment. And it's, it's really just unfortunate that there are people in the world that act the way that they do and like I said it's nothing that I've done to anyone this has been going on for years prior to me living there and I feel comfortable saying that because I do have proof that the landlord even told me like he knows of the problem and yeah basically at the end of the day I just 100% feel like I was scammed and I was lied to because I asked before I moved in if the building was quiet and a nice environment and of course they told me that because they just want money at the end of the day and it's just like a life lesson that you will learn so I will be moving I am in the process of moving I did find a place it's not necessarily ready yet and I feel like that's to the best because my current situation in my apartment is I feel like everything is just unorganized and in shambles just because my mood has been drastically like down because of the situation so that in turn has just made me like give up on like my apartment and making it perfect and organized so I have a lot to go through and I feel like this series is going to be great and beneficial because you guys will see and learn some tips and tricks off you are preparing to move I'm going to share with you I'm going to be doing a ton of organization a full closet organization video because I do want to organize my closet before I move and just kind of change it to how I want it because it will look the same in my new place as well so again I'm not moving tomorrow or next week it is going to take a little bit of time Again, the place that I did find isn't going to be ready for a few weeks if I still decide to move there. I'm still kind of looking around. Everything's up in the air. And I'm excited to take you guys along with this journey. And I think this will be some good content because even though they're going to be vlog style, I'm going to share with you guys a lot of organizational tips and some DIYs along the way if I can come up with some. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this vlog and let's jump into today. <laughs> I did not um, approve of this, and it's not contractually signed that I'm on this video, so I'll be I will be uploading it to you. I'll be suing for defamation. So we have just arrived. We are currently at Delamo Mall, my favorite, and guess what store we are going into right now? Zara, Uniqlo, Anthropology, Urban oh, Outfitters. All of our favorites not are here. Sponsored. I got this from Urban, and look how big Drew's bag is. Like, his bag is bigger than his entire body. And now we're going to Anthropology because they have the best home decor section ever. This is so pretty. 
Look at all this. Oh guys, these are where my coasters are from. Mine are white, but they come in multiple different colors. Guys, when I move, I'm getting these plates. Look how pretty these are. Drew just said he needs plants like this, and I do too. Real ones. Real plants. Where do you find them? So we came to the thrift store because Drew wants to look for some stuff. I'm thinking that maybe potentially in the future I could do a thrift flip video because look at all this cool like furniture-ish stuff that they have. So if you guys would want to see that, let me know in the comments down below. But Drew is looking at these. Uh, Hands right now. Me. They look so good though. Like they look really good. So I found these items that I'm gonna get for thrift flip. I want to get this mirror, but I don't really have anywhere to put it afterwards. But it would be so cool if the frame was gold. So I'm getting this little bowl, a tray, and then this little stand. And a white mirror up there. Oh yeah, that one kind of looks good. So we will see what I come up with for my video. So even though I am like planning on moving, I got a couple of things recently that I wanted to share with you guys that are gonna be perfect for my new apartment. And one of the pieces that I'm gonna be using for organization. So I'll put close-ups of all these things in. But first of all, this marble like tower that you see here is from Crate and Barrel. It's obviously in the kitchen department, but I saw on Pinterest like a lot of pictures of like everyone's skincare just like on these really nice shelves. So I thought that I could use this to like hold all my skincare. I've been like kind of venturing away from makeup and just like getting really into skincare and taking care of my skin. Like right now I don't really have makeup on. So that's like my new favorite thing. So all my skincare is gonna go on this and be displayed nicely. As you can see here, I have a couple of my new favorites that I got. These are from True Botanicals. I got the pre-cleanse oil, the vitamin C booster, this is a pure radiance oil and then lastly this is the cellular repair serum not only is the packaging amazing but this product is phenomenal my skin has just looked so amazing lately and i definitely think that adding these to my skincare routine have done wonders so i can talk about that in another video i then got this le labo santal candle this is a santal 26 candle and they were nice enough to send this to me with my name on it but I have had this candle in the past. It's one of my favorites. The scent is absolutely amazing. And I've really been working on downsizing my candle collection and really having like good quality candles like this because this does also burn a lot better than other candles that are on the market. You can definitely tell quality candles over like cheaper candles. So I'm excited to add this into my new apartment. And then the last thing that I got that is super cool, super amazing. This is going to be like a great home decor item to have because it looks super cute and trendy however this is the aware and this is a smart air moderate monitoring device for healthier indoor environment and this actually i will show you it unwrapped here but it looks really cool it looks like a, just like a cool home decor item and it actually monitors the air in your apartment or home and i do have allergies and asthma so it's something important to me so this will tell you the temperature the humidity the amount of co2s the dust amount and it's really cool because you can um, put everything into your phone. There's actually like an app and you can analyze and it will recommend like what you can do to fix the things in your home. But this is really important just to monitor like the air in your home and what you're like breathing in. And on top of it, this looks just so amazing and super trendy. So these are the items that I've kind of got recently that will be going to my new apartment. I just kind of wanted to share those with you guys. Who is deciding between these options? I, I want to mix them all. I think you should. But my counters are orange. Oh, like your old bathroom. That's a problem. And I found these clothing options that kind of pretty much look the same, but let's be real, I don't ever wear any color. So, yeah. Currently going to World Market, and my goal is to not purchase anything because I really shouldn't buy anything until I'm officially moved in. successfully made it out of world market without purchasing one item even though they had such cute stuff and now we're headed into the container store this is how i'm going to store all my diy stuff when i move in these clear plastic containers they like are stackable so desi perkins keeps her makeup in these but i thought it would be cool to put all my diy supplies and i could see everything so that was pretty much it for my day and I just kind of wanted to talk a little bit more about what you can expect from this little moving series and the things that I still need to complete 
before I move. Number one, I need to do an extreme clean on my closet. So you guys will see an entire like closet organization revamp video because I want it to be perfect. I don't want to take anything excess from my closet. So I'm going to be adding items to my Poshmark and I have so many to list that I think I need to diligently list like 15 items a day. That way I can catch up and get rid of all those things. I have an entire closet that is separate from my closet that I do need to clean out because I feel like when I move, I'm not gonna have such a large extra closet. I need to desperately do something with my DIY items, so you guys will see a full organization video on that. So basically just a ton of fun shopping, moving vlogs, maybe some DIYs here and there, and you guys will see a ton and ton of like organizational stuff. So yeah, that's cool. And last night, me and Drew, well, Drew did an Instagram Live, and I was on it for a second, and it just sounds like a really fun thing that I kinda wanna start doing like once a week. So if you guys aren't following me on Instagram, be sure to follow me on Instagram, it's just my first name. Nostalgia, I'll link it down below, but I think that will be fun on there as well. So yeah, that was today's vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you're new, be sure to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.